Do you know what the phone does first when you turn it on? Did you know that the protocol used to gain access to the channel was originated in Hawaii? When your phone is turned on, it says Aloha. Spread a little aloha around the world. This is a story about communications technologies and a tribute to the pioneers who made Packet Radio possible. Well, we decided that we would develop a, a packet switching network using radio because in Hawaii we have a number of different islands and it's much better to use radio than these lines. Whenever you pick up your telephone and make a phone call or use some other applications from that telephone, the very first thing you do is a packet comes from that telephone and the packet says aloha because aloha is the technique of packet transmission used for the very first time, for the very first communication out of each and every cell phone ever built. In 1971, the Aloha system established and operated a terrestrial radio and data network, AlohaNet, within the state of Hawaii. In 1973, the Aloha system used a radio transponder in an experimental satellite to demonstrate an international satellite data network. From the beginning of the project, it was understood that the intermittent operation, typical of interactive computer terminals, was a convincing argument against the assignment of point-to-point -point channels in a conventional frequency division multiple axis or time division multiple axis. Some more efficient form of sharing a common radio communication channel was necessary. The key decision was to use the direct form of transmitting user information in a single high-speed packet burst in a shared channel, now known as an Aloha channel. What are the basics of Aloha protocol? When a data packet is ready, it is just transmitted. When successfully received, the receiver sends an acknowledgement. If the sender receives the acknowledgement, the packet transmission was successful. What happens when there are two simultaneous senders? If there is a collision, the receiver cannot decode either packet and will not send the acknowledgement. The sender will not receive the acknowledgement and will understand the packet needs to be resent. Each sender will wait a random time before retransmission to avoid colliding again. Then, the two packets can be successfully received without any coordination of the senders. I've been using uh, Aloha, an invention of Norm Abramson, uh, on and off in the last uh, many decades of research of mine. Uh, at its inception decades ago, it was a very useful idea for random access. And uh, it's very distinctly different from other access scheme at the time. The Aloha protocol is an example of a great idea because everybody says it's obvious only after being told about it. It's a generalized distributed algorithm for allowing uncoordinated agents and devices to share resources. I have to admit to you that when I heard about what these guys were doing with old taxi radios, I thought, you know, they must be crazy. But uh, in fact, uh, this was a fantastic hack. It was a great use of, of that equipment. And it demonstrated something that no one, I think, would have believed. And that is that the best efforts communication can actually work. In 1966, 
Norm and I joined the University of Hawaii's electrical engineering department. 1968, an opportunity came about. Was a, and we learned about packet switching from Donald Davies. And we learned that Larry Roberts in ARPA was developing a, a new computer network called ARPANET, which used least line communication. Well, we decided that we would develop a, a packet switching network using radio because in Hawaii we have a number of different islands and it's much better to use radio than this line. Norm and I were co PIs. The idea that was he would focus on theory and I would be the network developer. Within two years, we were able to demonstrate the ability to connect two computer networks uh, far apart with Aloha Network System. Aloha came because we lead it in the name of a network like ArborNet. But uh, Aloha is a word from Hawaii with things Hello, uh, goodbye. And so that was the perfect name. And it wasn't developed, it wasn't given by Norm and I, but uh, another professor named Wesley Peterson was quite famous. The internet, cell phones, Wi-Fi, and all other mobile technologies out there that our youth today often take for granted as if these tools and luxuries have always existed. It has truly been an honor for me to have the, had the chance to get to know Norm and Frank and their families over the course of the last year since I started working here at the College of Engineering. Well, you could say that thanks to you, I learned Ohm's Law and Kirchhoff's Voltage Law, and I am an electrical engineer thanks to you. We all have in our pockets a uh, little telephone, which in fact is a mobile telephone. And the basic idea of our mobile phone here, if it shows up, okay. The basic idea is that it's mobile. Right there from the beginning, Aloha was, was part of the network. Some of the most important networking standards, such as ethernet, Wi-Fi, DOCSIS, which is the cable modem standard, WiMAX, etc. They all owe their origin to the Aloha Channel Protocol. As a matter of fact, even the mobile standards such as 3G, 4G, 5G, LTE, they all use a variant of Aloha Channel for call setup and contention. We adopted the uh, Aloha Net re randomized retransmission scheme and then we improved it a little and uh, what came out was Ethernet. Our lives, our economy, is built around network communications. Whether it's cellular or satellite, ethernet or Wi-Fi, public, private, whatever it is, it's everywhere. And much of it is derived or inspired by Aloha. Norm and Frank, thank you. Its importance is only going to increase in the coming years, considering the massive number of devices that are going to be connected to 5G and the other future technologies. Uh, the technology or the concept is becoming even more important many decades later. A couple of examples I want to cite is uh, satellite communication, and then the what is called the back off algorithm of Aloha needs to be tuned so that it won't become unstable and there's lots of research to be done. In addition, if we are thinking about quantum uh, communication system, um, 
in the form of uh, random access, then the Aloha algorithm has to be changed to adapt to the quantum statistics of detection and signaling. He was a great mind, a great man, and a very good friend. I'm very, very proud to be part of the Aloha Network 